Rutgers, Rutgers is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Runs it right. Nice pickup. Five yards there for the quarterback. He's tackled at the 26-yard line. The defense had that one called perfectly. That's a big play on that ball. Now it's third and nine coming up. Ball on the 26. But he showed here that you have to be concerned about him as a receiver as well. He's got good hands, and you know he's good in the open field. The ball is loose, and the quarterback comes in and scoops up the fumble. And down he goes at the 43. I tell you, when the option works, it can be beautiful to watch. But when it doesn't, it can go horribly wrong. Not a good result for the offense. So the offense will come out in opponent's territory for their first drive of the game. They couldn't have asked for better field position than this. So the question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out. After, after review of the play, the, play, the ruling, ruling on the, on the field, field is reversed. reversed. So after the review, they reversed the call on the field. He laterals, and he's tackled by the 47-yard line. Slings it. Tackle made at about the 41. That brings him second and five. Mike 22 is coming, 22 is coming, Mike, Mike. Easy, 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 easy. Watch the safety three, 95. Up the middle for a nice game. The thing I love about this guy is he can throw the ball, he can run it, and that's hard to stop. just smash mouth helmet to chin football by the defensive line there they dominated the point of attack second down and 12 ball on the 36 he scrambled and they get the sack. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush, because sacks can be real drive killers. He lets it fly. No, incomplete. This is a very well-coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. Fourth down. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. Navy is looking to go up by three. The kick is up, and it's good! And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Tackle at the 27-yard line. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. Hand 
it off. Makes it out to about the 39. That makes it first and 10. Red two, orange three, orange three. Dumps it complete the tight end over the middle, and he hits him hard at the 40. That makes it second and 10. From their own 40-yard line, it's second down. Green eye, green eye. He gets rid of this one. They tried to fool him by running the same play again. Yeah, fooled no one there, Brad. taken down immediately. He made the catch, but he didn't get the first down. Yeah, right now, the way this defense is swarming, there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Touch Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Navy showing no fear early in this football game, Kirk, and they're looking for the upset. They are looking for the upset, and the longer they stick around in a game like this, I think the more that they believe they can actually pull it off. It looks like they, we may have ourselves a ball game today. Navy holds a field goal lead. And he tackles him hard at the 28. team having success like this running the football. It can really open up things for the offense. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. That'll bring up second and 12. From the 37-yard line, second down. They'll get him for a loss. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. Navy has a three-point lead. He's under pressure. That's a great tackle at the 46. Well, we talked all week with these coaches, and even when we met with them yesterday out at practice, they told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends. They thought that they might be able to hold up against them, maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker, maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside. But right now, whatever they thought they might be able to do, they better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Navy's defense really came to play early in this football game. Well, they've done a good job here early, but you know eventually this offense is going to start clicking. Let's see if this defense can sustain this for the rest of the game. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Yellow three. 
And he throws it away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. From their own 20-yard line. Second down. Here we go, here we go. Blue four. Blue four. Looks to his receiver, first down. And he's taken down at about the 31. Makes the tackle at the 31-yard line. That makes it first and 10. So at the end of one quarter, Navy in front, 3-0. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Tight right, tight right. Three down, three down. Three down, three down. 31 Black five, black five. Blue 20. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. You've got to admire the intensity that these linebackers bring to the table. As soon as he saw it was staying on the ground, he made a beeline for the ball carrier. From their own 26-yard line, second down. Strike and he drops it. <laughs> Booming kick. <laughs> Brought down at the twenty two yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Navy is up a field goal. He might have a chance. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. Touchdown, midshipman. Once this kid gets into the open field, you're not going to catch him. You know, some of his critics say that all he has is track speed. Well, let me tell you, speed is speed, as we just saw right there. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A quick two-play, 78-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. And it was really those long runs that really helped propel that drive. So our score, 10-0. Nice kick, plenty of distance. <laughs> this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. No, no. Run there. Second down and five. Ball on the 30 yard line. Three down, three down. 30 was the mic. Dog four. Go. Good outside run there. That's good enough to pick up the first down. This young man ran with some purpose there and picked up six yards. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking scheme. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. From their own 34-yard line, it's second down. Gets it out quickly, and they make the stop at about the 39-yard line. Third down. Let's go. Here we go. 
And he is drilled at the 27. Fourth and long here after the sack. And this one is a beauty. And he's tackled the 39-yard line. Pretty good job by the return man there. The last time we saw this offense on the field, they drove the length of the field. And you think back to what that defensive coordinator tried to do. He tried to change some things up, but nothing seemed to work. It's going to be interesting to see how he can have an impact on this drive. Tight, tight down. Down by 22, by 22. Ready He's at the 40. Makes it to the 34. Credit to the defense. They knew what was coming and they came up and made the play. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. Bring him down around the 46-yard line. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. What are you doing? First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 46. But the quarterback's able to find a soft spot in the defense, and he threw an accurate ball for a solid pickup. Three down, three down. Let's go, let's go. Here we got dog four. Two, three. Go. Complete. He's got room. Steps out of bounds around the 37 yard line. That'll make it second and seven. From the 37 yard line, it's second down. There's a strike complete. He's down. That's a gain of five on the play. That'll bring up third and two. Man left, man left. Back five, back five. At the corner. Nice run, and he's brought down. So with that run, they pick up another first. Just a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into covers. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Incomplete, and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. And this play is number eight on the drive. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Red seven, red seven. Quick pass, and down he goes at about the 25-yard line. That'll be a two-yard gain. Well, not a whole lot of yards there for the wide receiver, but at least a short gain is better than an incompletion. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. The 
The kick is away. It's long enough. And he got it. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. And they can forget about returning this one. Let's see how the offense rebounds after fumbling on their last possession. The defense, I'm sure, will be aggressive again. They love going for the strip and attacking the football. Makes it to the 37. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. Navy is up by a touchdown. He chucks it downfield. Can't connect. Well, we're headed to halftime now, and we're seeing two defenses that don't want to give an inch. 10-3, Navy. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Defense has been in total control in the first half, and you'd think maybe the offense's confidence was shaken. But if you want to look at the entire team picture, David, how big a deal is it for an offense to know, look, if we can just put together one, maybe two good scoring drives, our defense has got our back. Well, a lot of times when you know you have a defense, it's great, too, is you build your offense around it. And when I say that, why do I need to take chances? You know, if it's third and long, I don't mind throwing a five-yard pass, and if I break a tackle, I get a first down. I mean, don't put my defense that's dominant, that's great, in a bad position, and, and you can afford to be more conservative. You see it every single year. What do we always talk about here at ESPN? We talk about you, you defense wins championships, and that's how you win ball games, and you see it consistently unfold. So if I'm building an offense, let's just not put my great dominant defense in a bad position. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brandon Kirk are there to deliver. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And he's tackled at the 36-yard line. Good, solid running right there. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 36-yard line. Up the middle for a nice game. Call it a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. Three down, three down. 30 was the mic. Anytime this guy carries the ball and gets a little space, we could be talking about six. First down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. Black fire! There's a fumble. The defense scoops it out. So the offense turns over the pigskin. The ball carrier here was just careless in handling the ball. And a great awareness by the defense to jump on it. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. Well, after seeing the replay, it was apparent that his knee was down before he lost the ball. Yep. Those guys in the booth aren't perfect, but they got it right this time. First and 10. Ball on the 32. And he 
he makes it out to about the 31 yard line. at the 20. He gets out to about the 17-yard line. He really showed some good speed there. I'll tell you, no question. When you talk about being able to turn on the Jets and leave everybody in the dust, you have to mention this young man. He's got skills, but his speed is what the pro scouts are drooling about. The 10, and he's level at the 8-yard line. That's a deep nine on the play. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Runs it and tackled in the backfield. Touchdown, Scarlet Knights. Boy, he looked determined running the football. Nobody was going to keep him out of the end zone. The extra point to tie this game up. And he hits the PAT. It was an eight-play, 58-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running runs. And a 10-10 tie in this game. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clench up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. Now he pitches it. Here's an opening. Tackle made around the 43 yard line. At about the 41. Call it a loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. From their own 41 yard line, second down. Watch the run, watch the run. Let's go! Steps up in the pocket with the pass incomplete. There's one the quarterback would like to rewind because he has a wide open receiver and he just misfires. Seventeen. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You got to make every possession count. Nice run up the middle. Carries the ball. Call it a gain of six yards. That'll bring up. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. play action has time he's taken down right around the 30 second down and 10 to go ball on the 30 
inside the 26 yard line. away and it's a booming punt and he's taken down at the 34 yard line you don't want to squander any possessions but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping they'll knock him down for a loss when you're an option quarterback you get used to getting popped pretty quickly he'll bounce right back up from their own 32-yard line. Second down. 22 is coming. 22 is coming. Mike, Mike. Uh -huh. He's to the 40. Tackle right around the 44-yard line. So at the end of the third quarter, this one's all even at 10. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. And they get nice yardage on that one. his defense. Let's see if any adjustments are made before their backs are really against the wall. offense so tough to defend when you have a quarterback with the ability to run and throw and he gets down into this area of the field chances are he's going to find his way into the end zone and he converts the extra point a seven play 66 yard drive and they come away with a touchdown boy this offense right now is just being physical really controlling the line of scrimmage and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running backs. he sends this one deep Navy kick this one off. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. And they make the stop at the 38. From their own 38-yard line, it's first down. Handoff to the right. He makes it to the 38-yard line. I would expect them to have to go to the air. Hit a 
as he threw, and he completes it. He's got the corner. He gets hit out of bounds at the 34. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. Oh, excellent punt. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. A score here might effectively end this one. Navy up seven points. Bring him down at the 31-yard line. it up the middle for a nice run. Committed to the run, and that allowed them to make the completion that keeps this drive going. Makes it to the 34. Even if you're pulling for the other team, you've got to just admire this guy's speed. He is special. From the 34 yard line, first down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. The Scarlet Knights using their third and last timeout. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. And down he goes around the 20-yard line. And he is drilled at the 18-yard line. We're down to just a minute in this game. The 10 gains his way to the seven yard line. This is the ninth play of this drive. A great one to win, a really tough one to lose. 17-10, midshipman. Kirk, go ahead and just give us your reflections on this game. Yeah, this was a great football game played by two teams that really wanted to win. Rutgers had a lot of chances in this one, but a number of costly mistakes squandered those opportunities. Eliminate the errors, and this one could have gone the other way. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.